State's Department of News. I'm Avery White. And I'm Renee Johnson. Breaking news. War has just broken out in Sarasota, New York. We just got word from our news reporter Megan Smith that British General Burgoyne attacked the Americans on Raymond's farm. Let's take it over to our reporter Megan Smith who is reporting live at the battle scene. Thank you, Avery. I'm Megan Smith reporting live on the west bank of the Hudson River, north of Albany, New York. I just saw British General Burgoyne attack the Patriots, who were waiting for the British to make their move. The Patriots know their homeland, so it's a great advantage for them. Oh, I hope they will pull through. I'm getting ready to interview American General Horatio Gates to ask him a few questions about the battle at Freeman's Farm. Here's Gates now. Hey, General Gates, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the battle? Sure. So, General, how do you feel about the battle so far? I feel real good. We have quite a few advantages, but then again, so do the British. I believe that if we stay true to what we're fighting for, we will win the battle. That's good. Would you mind sharing some information about the battle with us? Well, we're going to put up his 7,500-man army into three columns to sweep around where he believes we might be. One column of British troops moved west about two miles inland and began to move south. A second column of British troops moved about a mile inland before moving south. The third column, made of German mercenaries, moved along the river road and is defending British supplies. Great. Do you have anything else for us today? Yes. Around 2 o'clock, we were aware of the British movement and we attacked. Our now 13,000-man army was able to push the British back. As the British withdrew, one of their beloved generals, Simon Fraser, got mortally wounded by one or more of Morgan's rifleman. British forces hastily fell back to one of their defensive positions, the Ball Carries Redoubt. It is strong, well defended, and able to discover the British. I have to go now. Yeah, you better do that. Good luck to you, General. I believe we have a sound chance of winning the Revolutionary War. Now, let's take it over to the people who weren't so lucky, the British. General John Burgoyne, how are you going to get revenge on the Americans? I'm going to kill them! I'm going to kill them all! It's going to be so... Okay, let's, let's take a break while we try to get this general to calm down. This commercial is sponsored by Mr. Newmeyer and Apple Stables. The iPhone 7S Plus is the biggest and the best. This iPhone 7S Plus is approximately 103 inches in screen. The home button is now hand identification instead of the finger identification. This hand identification is bigger than our previous iPhone in total. This iPhone 7S Plus is so big that we also came out with the iPony that will carry this massive device around for you. This iPony is bigger than the iPhone and more expensive. iPony not fully tested. Call the number on your screen to get your iPhone 7S Plus and iPony today. So, now that we've gotten the general to chill out, we have a few more questions for him. So, general, how are you going to get back at our troops? Well, we have a few strategies in mind. Like what, general? I'm not telling you. All I'm saying is that we're coming back with more cannons, more guns, more troops. Um, so, yeah, you know. I should probably get back to my base, so... Alright, uh, thank you for your time, General. Good luck to you. Psych! Go America! <laughs> that was very nicely put, Megan. Yes, it was. Now, let's go back and interview British General Howe. Megan? Thanks, Renee. Okay, now we have British General Howe with us here, and we'd like to hear his point of view. So, General Howe. How confident are you about your next fight against the Americans? I am very confident that my overpowered troops will easily walk through those untrained Americans. With all our firepower and cannons, the Americans don't have a chance. I'm surprised that they even think they have a chance. We can beat those Americans. Well, you seem very confident. Well, I am. Thank you very much. With all of our troops in training and more, there's no chance they have. Well, that's good. <clears throat> Back to you, Renee. Thank you, Megan, for that report. What a day. We will keep you posted as this story continues. So, Avery, how do you think this battle of Saratoga will affect the rest of the war? 
Well, I think it will lift the Patriots' spirits and hopefully will help them persevere to the very end and win. Amen to that. I hope the British know that we aren't going down without a fight. Yeah, if it comes down to it, I will go fight for my country myself. Yes, most definitely. Go America! Let's get back to our conversation on the results of the Battle of Saratoga. By nightfall, we held the Bremen Redoubt. As it was at the far right of the British lines, we could then get behind the British anywhere else from behind. We did not press the advantage, but the British still fell back to their own river forts, the Great Redoubt. On October 8th, having packed up what supplies they could, Burgoyne's army began a quick retreat north. They went through cold rain, mud, and hunger until reaching the village of Saratoga, finding themselves boxed in by American militia troop soldiers north, west, and east of the village. They set up a fortified camp and waited for us. Two days later, we had completely surrounded them. So, is the war over yet? We'll just have to wait and see. America! USDN is back with the result of the War of Saratoga. Yes, we're going to surrender to Gates on October 17, 1777. Our victory demonstrates that our troops could fight an European army on our own terms and win. It also convinced the French to ally themselves with us and declare war against England. Later on, I think the Spanish and Dutch will do the same. That's great. Such a relief. Before we go, let's show you some moments from the war. Okay, now we have British General Howard here. <laughs> Keep us <laughs> great. She can still interview you. We're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that brand is right. I'm surprised that they uh, think they... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Okay, now we have British General Howard. <laughs> I don't even know. I am surprised I said it twice. <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> Where's my scarf? No, no, no. Are we supposed to be holding hands? Please. British troops. <laughs> what? Oh, can we wait? <laughs> Get it out of the glint! Oh, the good shoes. Get it out of the